In the heart of Osaka, amidst the hustle and bustle of a vibrant city, lies a gateway to adventure and mystery. Hidden within the sprawling metropolis, Osaka's Kansai Airport conceals secrets beyond imagination. As dusk settles over the sleek runways and towering terminals, an enigmatic aura fills the air. Whispers of clandestine, rendezvous, and covert operations echo through the corridors. Behind closed doors, travelers unknowingly step into a web of intrigue where every departure holds the promise of an untold story. Is the airport sinking? We're gonna discuss, so make sure you stick to the end. Osaka Kansai Airport is a spectacular construction located on an artificial island in Osaka Bay. It was opened in 1994 and expanded in 2007. As you can imagine, construction was no easy task. Two mountains were flattened to build the island, and according to the Institution of Civil Engineers, at the time of its completion, it was the most expensive civil engineering project to date. Despite some incredible engineering successes and proven ability to withstand earthquakes and typhoons, issues are now appearing notably, the island is sinking faster than expected, leading to increased problems with flooding. This October, a new airport will open north of Istanbul, Turkey, on a foundation of muck from a former Black Sea marshland. In the Maldives archipelago, a sprawling expansion to its capital city airport is rising from the Indian Ocean. In 2020, a runway will open in an estuary of the Brisbane River in Australia, a top ground that engineers say is no more stable than toothpaste. Like dozens of airports already built on land reclaimed from water, those airports will sink. The only question is how fast. The Kansai International Airport serving the Japanese city of Osaka and occupying two artificial islands in Osaka Bay leads the race to the bottom. Since it opened in 1994, Kansai has sunk 38 feet. Kansai's islands were predicted to evenly settle or as engineers say, subside over a 50-year period of before stabilizing at 13 feet above sea level. That's the minimum elevation required to prevent flooding in case a breach develops in an encircling seawall. Portions of the first of the two islands created reached that threshold within six years. At least $150 million was spent to raise the seawall, but some engineers predict that by 2056, sections of the two artificial islands may sink 13 more feet to sea level. Reclaimed land is like a wet sponge. Before it can support the enormous weight of airport buildings, it must be transformed into a dry, dense foundation. To achieve this transformation, the Kansai construction crews laid sand five feet deep atop the clay seabed that installed 2.2 million vertical pipes, each nearly 16 inches in diameter. After the pipes were padded into the clay, they were filled with sand, which can absorb moisture from the surrounding soil and from layers beneath. In other reclamation projects, fabric has been pushed into the pipes to soak up moisture, like a wick or a vertical drain. When the workers withdrew the pipes, the drains remained. Work to create the islands of Kansai began in 1987. By 1990, when the first island had sunk 27 feet instead of the predicted 19, engineers became alarmed. To save the airport from the sea, workers excavated below the passenger terminal, inserted iron plates beneath the hydraulic jacks, and raised the columns in stages. Even with these corrective measures, the airport is likely to continue settling perhaps for centuries, but at a far slower rate. Every two years, Kansai's jacks will be readjusted if necessary. Each of the 900 columns has a meter the engineers can check for tilt. Handa says there's no official estimated life calculated for Kansai, but Golam Reza Mesri, a professor of engineering at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign, predicts that Island 2 could reach its warning point of 13 feet above sea level as early as 2023. If a typhoon strikes Kansai directly and waves slip over its seawall, its runways and buildings will lie below water. Beyond the rate of sinking, engineers are also concerned about its unevenness. Different areas on the Kansai Islands are sinking at different rates. In the center of Kansai's passenger terminal, located on Island 1, engineers measured a high degree of sinking at the basement level and at the ends of the building. Workers cope with uneven sinking elsewhere by paving the airport runways with asphalt rather than concrete to minimize cracks or buckles. You think these? is big loss. Let me tell you about the next expensive things fails. You don't want to miss out on that. Don't forget to subscribe for more such stupidly expensive things from around the world and do hit that bell icon so that you never miss out on any important updates. So like and subscribe to the channel because that's not expensive.